let's look Lea, at HC, the place to be to develop your skills and grow your potential. So today I'm addressing people that are 45 plus, so the more senior employees and what to do to find a job in Switzerland. So the first tip is uh, that you can't use the traditional methods, meaning that the job boards and headhunters and placement agencies are not going to work if you're 45 plus. They tend to cater to employees that are looking for uh, mostly people in their early career to mid-career, but if you're more in the senior part of your career, more mature, they're not going to necessarily work for you. So in terms of strategies to look for a job, the traditional methods are going to be a little bit of a waste of time. So when I see people who are spending a lot of energy uh, answering ads and things like that, it's probably going to be a lot of effort for very little return on investment. I'm not a big fan of these methods when you're younger anyways, because I think that nowadays you have to be different if you want to be noticed. So these traditional methods don't cater to that difference. They tend to be very traditional. Uh, you're judged based on a resume only if you're looking at job boards. So it's a little bit stale as a way to get noticed. So definitely not the way to look for a job. So you can put these aside. It doesn't mean you don't look at job boards. It doesn't mean you don't have your eyes open, but just don't spend a lot of energy. Number two is build a real networking strategy. This is where you're going to have the most return on investment. This is also the harder part because you have to, uh, it takes a little bit of a, a bigger effort to go out and, and network, especially if you don't have a big network. But building your strategy doesn't mean you have to start from scratch. Every single one of us know friends, individuals that we had in our lives, our entire lives. So even friends or people who are close to you who may not even work in Switzerland are still a resource. Everyone can have a point of view and give you some advice and help. Um, so don't really look at it as I have to start from zero. You can always already start with something. You have also a lot of places who are doing networking events or cafes and, and things like that. So you're not really going to be on your own. A lot of people are in the same situation and they're also looking to reach out and to meet individuals. And this is going to be, again, a little bit more effort to take the time and go out and, and shake hands, so to say, but it's going to be more efficient. I've talked about, and you're welcome to click and watch my videos on networking, because I talked about those new methods of networking. There's a lot of apps now that you can use. Uh, you do have to spend time on them, but at least you're not leaving your home, so that's the benefit. And you can flip through a little bit like um, the dating apps, but now they do it for work as well. I'll link that up below. You can flip through and network that way. So this is for me going to be much more efficient. And again, if you're not 45 plus, but you're watching this video, you're younger, this is also going to be more helpful for younger people is to uh, build their networks and, and meet contacts rather than uh, look at job boards, especially if you don't have the ideal profile. So really tap into the power of meeting individuals, use the apps to save time. Uh, you go to networking events. I'll also link below where you can find those events. I talk about this in many of my uh, communications. This is going to bring you more, uh, more validity for your profile than trying to, uh, to go the traditional route. Number three, build up your social media. This is also something people do not use as much for many different reasons. One of them is people don't know what to put on there. There's a big... Uh, empty, I would say, uh, arena there where we talk about uh, social media and most, I would say most people who do not use social media don't know which platforms to use, what to put on there, which photos, which communications. So here we're more in the marketing realm is that most people don't know how to market themselves. They don't know what their skills are, what their strengths are, which kinds of things to push forwards and which ones that they need to uh, you know, post on their uh, communication. So in terms of, you know, which photos and which uh, posts do I put forward? Which materials do I share? So all these are communications questions. And if you worked in fields, especially where you're not really dealing with those kinds of things, you don't have this natural sense of communicating with individual, it's going to be a big burden for you. But I think the tapering into uh, building up your network and building up your social media is going to be, bring you much more value, even if it takes a little bit of work, and, uh, and you're going to get more connections. So how do you build up your social media? Of course, you need to have a profile that fits you very well. So 
the photo needs to represent you very well in what you do. And it's going to be also things that you do that people can notice. For example, are you writing? Are you doing videos? Are you, um, you know, participating in an event? I always recommend uh, public speaking. A lot of people now do public speaking. So you have Toastmasters, for example, where you can actually go and train yourself to speak. This is going to be a huge value if you can speak very well, you know, especially if you're in management. So if you're able to show that you do public presentations, for example, you will be noticed more. So the golden word here is to be noticed. You don't want to be amongst uh, most people. And it's going to be a step to take in 2018 where now visibility is the key word. So if you want to be approached or if you want to be selected for a job, you need to be visible and you need to work on your visibility. It's a little bit tough at the beginning to put yourself out there, to have your photo on a, a LinkedIn, for example, and not only your photo, but maybe publish articles or have a video. It's going to be a big stretch, but it's going to bring you so much more than uh, keep answering ads where you're never getting any replies. So once you make that move from, you know, just being a, an ordinary, I would say, job seeker to someone who's actually out there and building up their profile, you're going to get many more visits on your profile and potentially more interviews. So think about those two things there, you know, networking for success and also building up your profile on social media. If you have any questions, you want to go further, send me a message and we'll take it from there. Have a great uh, week. Talk to you soon.